welcome on how to switch from Zamp to MariaDB. So this can be done for multiple reasons, primarily because it's faster, more optimized, and just generally better than Zamp. So uh, let's get into this. So as you can see, I've got Zamp open and started up with MySQL, and I've got a QBox I have a spin up real quick. So what we're going to do now is show how to export your original database and put it onto MariaDB. But first thing I'm going to show you is that the actual database works on XAMPP. So as you can see, I can load into the server perfectly fine. So I can just make my account. So there you go. Everything loads in, perf Everything loads in perfectly fine. It's just better to use MariaDB. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is uh, install Heidi SQL, which can be found in the card in the top right. So you can install Heidi by just searching Heidi SQL download. Click this. Click the Windows 64 bit installer. Install it. So let's do that. Click I uh, accept the agreement next next click next again click install i already have it installed so i don't have to worry about that okay now that you've done that you'll have something like this click new name it whatever you want and then click open then you'll see here your database what you want to do is right click on it click on export database as sql then in this selection, you'll you'll probably see something like this. You want to change it to create, create, insert, and then save your database somewhere safe. So I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to name it uh, my server backup SQL. There you go. Then just click export and all you export is the one that your server is so it'll probably be something like esx legacy or qb core something or qbox project something or qbox something so once you've exported that you'll see it wherever you saved it so for me it'll be my desktop close this that's most of it done now all we need to do is uninstall zamp so close zamp make sure it's closed here as well and ignore that Go to your C drive. You'll see a folder called ZAMP. Just click the delete. And make sure it's killed on task manager completely. So let's have a look. So there you go. There's my uninstall still there. Oh. I see my SQL database is still running. So just click end process on that. And there you go. Click continue. Okay, done. Now, all we do is go to the MariaDB download. So, MariaDB. So, uh, MariaDB download. Click on this one. Click on 11.8.2. So, that's the latest one that it's selected. Click download. Click save. Wait for it. There you go. Click open. Okay. So click on next. Click on I accept the terms. Next again. You'll see something like this. That's fine. Click on next. Uncheck this. Click on next. Keep this the same. Click install. No, yeah, make sure you click the enable the administrator permission. I missed that. There you go. It's running. Click finish. Open Heidi again. Then what you can do is go to the 127 one that you had. So this one. So as you can see, it's the base again. You won't really see much. So what you can do is right click this, open with, 
look for Heidi SQL. So I'm just going to search for Heidi. Open. Right click again. Open file location to where it was. So I'm just going to open with, choose another app. Browse apps. Oh. Open with, choose another app. Choose an app on your PC. Go to the directory. Heidi SQL. Always. Go on to the 127. And then if you press this button right here. That's the database saved. Okay. Now, if we load back into the server. As you'll see, we're loading in. You'll see my character still there. Works completely fine. Where I was last spawned. Items are still there. As you can see, it all works. So as you can see, that's how easy it is to set up MariaDB uh, and switching over from XAMPP. So I recommend you do it because, well, it will help a lot in the future with newer resources such as LB phone, for example, which require a new version of MariaDB and it just saves you issues in the future. So big recommend on doing that. Have a good rest of your night. Bye.